Hi, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic or question is, does exercise lower cholesterol? Now, most people focus on dietary changes to help lower cholesterol, but exercise can also help tremendously. So today I'll discuss how exercise can help and then what the best type of exercise you should do and to quickly help lower your cholesterol levels with just less effort and time. Okay, so let's quickly discuss all the different ways exercise helps lower your cholesterol levels. The first is by weight loss or weight management. Now, exercise will help you either lose unwanted fat or help prevent weight gain as you age. Now, this is important because being overweight causes an increase in your bad LDL cholesterol levels. The second method is by improved blood sugar and insulin levels. When you exercise, especially anaerobically with weights, you help lower your blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. And this helps you lose weight, but also reduces your triglycerides. The third way is by improved lipoproteins. Now, exercise increases the size of the protein particles that carry cholesterol through the blood. You want big, fluffy particles because the smaller, dense ones can squeeze into the lining of the heart and blood vessels and get stuck and then cause problems. The fourth way is an increase in the good HDL cholesterol. Now, studies have shown that people who exercise vigorously also raise their levels of high-density lipoprotein, which is the HDL, which is the good kind of lipoprotein that actually helps clear cholesterol from your blood. And the fifth is the improved hormone levels. When you exercise properly, which I'll get to in a minute, you improve your hormones your testosterone, your estrogen, your progesterone, your insulin, your growth hormones, and so forth, while also lowering the stress hormone cortisol. In my opinion, this might be the most important aspect of performing exercise because your hormones literally control how your body looks, feels, and performs. Now, let's discuss how much exercise and the best kind. The goal is to exercise daily for at least 20 or 30 minutes but rarely more than an hour because too much exercise causes an increase in your stress hormones. But a good start is three times weekly, 20 or 30 minutes at a time. And it's best to do a combination of aerobic cardiovascular, such as you know walking, jogging, and swimming, combined with anaerobic muscle-building workouts, which can be done with cables, dumbbells, and machines. For example, you can do your aerobic cardio workouts maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then on alternate days, do anaerobic muscle workouts, such as Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And this is if you were to exercise daily. Or you can just start with like 15 to 20 minutes of cardio um, aerobic exercise and then finish with 15 to 20 minutes of anaerobic muscle building workouts three times a week. So you can mix and match. By the way, you don't even need a gym. You can do all of this at home if you want or any time of the day, and it can it really won't cost you much money at all. For example, you can go walk around your neighborhood for the aerobics and then utilize cables and dumbbells at home for the muscle building. But the key is to get started and do something at least three times a week. But there's something else I want you to consider. So I want you to pay attention to something really important in the big picture. Now, did you know that heart disease is the number one killer killing more people each year than all the other diseases combined. So improving your cholesterol levels is very important, but it's just one factor out of many when it comes to preventing and reversing heart disease. Now, you also need to improve your HDL-LDL ratios, your triglycerides, your homocysteine, and other lipid levels. Ultimately, your goal isn't even to lower cholesterol or to prevent heart disease, but it's to not have a heart attack or stroke. It's basically to not die prematurely. So there is a big problem, something I've noticed over the years, and it's managing your lipid profiles is probably one of the most important aspects to health, longevity, and disease prevention. Unfortunately, it can sometimes get confusing, or you might feel overwhelmed with just too much information, right? What to do or not to do. Plus, you know, making dramatic lifestyle changes, such as eating better or eliminating lots of the different foods and exercise daily, you know, it's all very important, but for many people, it can be difficult to start and takes just a longer time to see results. And taking statin prescription drugs is never a good solution because of all the negative side effects. Now, I'm very familiar with this topic because these are all the same challenges I ran into with both my parents all the way back in 1999. So because of this, you know, I wanted a solution for my parents that was safe, it worked quickly, and just was easy. 
So I created a simple and very effective and proven all-in-one solution called Coleslo, which is a small pill that helps to naturally lower your LDL bad cholesterol, also raise your HDL good cholesterol, it also helps lower triglycerides and homocysteine levels, and finally, it cleanses your liver, and this is where most cholesterol is produced. Now, one major reason cholesterol is just better than other options is because it's doctor-formulated and clinically tested to work. And the feedback has been amazing. And since the product, you know, has been around for, you know, almost 15 years or longer, you know it works and it's safe. Anyway, if you're looking for something that's natural for just total heart health, that's easy to take and works quickly, then take a look at the free video about how cholesterol works and how you'll benefit. You can also view the clinical studies, all the customer reviews, the frequently asked questions, and so forth. Now, take a look and let me know what you think. Please do this now while it's fresh on your mind.